All right, Mina. Are you ready for one of my jokes? Yes. Okay, go here we go. Why did the boy throw butter out the window? Um. I don't know. Why did he? So he could see a butterfly. Oh, I get Dead it. Yeah. a butterfly. <laughs> I see them kids, Agape Avenue. We're happy to spend this time with you. I see them kids, such a wonderful day. To learn what the Bible has to say. I'm glad to see all my friends. And to know that Jesus' love won't end. I see him, kids, we're glad you can stay. Today is going to be a very awesome day. I see. Mm. Oh, that's interesting. Hi, Hi. Hi Dulce. Was that too crazy? That was a little loud. A I'm little bit. <laughs> I'm so sorry for screaming. I just get so excited when I see you guys. I get excited too. Oh, you're so nice, Maida. <laughs> you're so nice. What are you guys doing? What are you doing? Well, we're actually going over this month's verse. What are the odds? That's why I came mm -hmm. to talk to you ladies. Really? Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. cool. That's mm -hmm. cool. What? That's like crazy. How these <laughs> things just kind of play out. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Well, what's the verse? Can you say it to me in Spanish? Yes. <gasps> okay. So, it's Primera de Juan 5, versículo 3. En esto consiste el amor a Dios, en que obedezcamos sus mandamientos, y estos no son difíciles de cumplir. Oh, I know what amor means. It means love. Yes, exactly. it does. Mm -hmm. yes. I knew that one. That one's pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was pretty what? easy. But there was another one you said... What, wait, mandamiento, no. Yes, yes, <gasps> mandamientos. Okay, wait, can I say it again? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, <clears throat> ma, no, I lost it. I lost it, friend. Can you repeat it? <laughs> yes, man, da, man, da, mien, mien, dos. Dos. There you go. Man, no. I lost it, friend. <laughs> You're so close. Man, da, mientos. Man, da, mientos. Exactly. Oh, my goodness, I'm so smart. Oh, my gosh, I'm crazy. Crazy. What does that mean? Well, it actually means commandments, <gasps> orders. <gasps> mm -hmm. So that's like rules. That's exactly, like, exactly. That's like a big deal. It's a big deal. Yeah. And who's giving us these rules? Well, actually, the verse talks about how we have to follow God's commandments. <gasps> so the Lord is giving us exactly. these rules. Exactly. <gasps> and that's our way of showing him that we love him. <gasps> wow, that's like a big deal. Yeah. It is. So that when we follow his commandments, when we obey, that's how we show the Lord we love him? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Wow. That's kind of easy. We yeah. do that. Yeah, wow. exactly. Yeah, we could totally do that. Wow. You know, you guys want to come to my house? Yes, of course. My Let's mom go. is making tamales. <gasps> mm, that I sounds know, great. I know. It's so yummy. You want to come? Yes. yes. Okay, okay. Let me go tell you guys you're going to come, okay? All okay. right. Okay, I'll be right back. It says to me, tells me that I'm never ever alone. I'm learning how J E S U S came down to us and gave his best. Without a doubt, the best friend you'll ever know. Our God knows exactly what I need, so I remember this. Let's go. When you ask, He cares. When you see, He's there. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. When you ask, He cares. When you see, He's there. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. Oh, oh. I'm reading my VIP early, and this is what it says to me. It tells me that I'm never, ever alone. I'm learning how J-E-S-U-S came down to us and gave his best. Out of doubt, the best friend you'll ever know. Our God knows exactly what I need. So I remember this. Let's go. When you ask, he cares.
When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. When you ask, He cares. When you seek, He's there. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, you caught me. I am working on a to-do list. We've got a crazy summer coming up here at ICM Kids, and I'm getting things together. And I'm putting down a list of things, and I'm putting them in order of priority. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Let's take a minute and look at our verse. We've been working on 1 John chapter 5, verse 3. Come on, let's say it together. This is love for God to keep his commands and his commands are not burdensome. Hmm. Gordy started off today by asking the question, is there a more important, or is there a, a, a command more important than others? Wow, that is a good question because, you know, all throughout the Bible, we have commands. Now, all of God's commands are designed to help you and I be closer to Him and to live a good life here on earth. But you know what? In Matthew chapter 22, starting with verse 34, a lawyer came to Jesus and asked him a question and asked Jesus, what is the greatest command? Well, Jesus shared two. The first one he says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. But then he said that the second greatest command was, love your neighbor as yourself. Did you know that Jesus considers loving the people around us a command? It is. We are commanded by Jesus to love the people around us. And what does our Bible verse say? If we love God, we will keep His commands. So the two greatest commands are, first, we love God more than anything else, and second, we love our neighbors as we love ourselves. What does that mean, as we love ourselves? Well, when you're hungry, you feed yourself. Well, what should you do if your neighbor's hungry? Give them some of the food? Give them some food? If we're cold, we clothe ourselves. What if your neighbor's cold? You see where I'm going? If we love ourselves, we need to love our neighbors or the people around us the same way. So, what are the greatest commands? Love God and then love your neighbor. Hi, Edgar. Oh, Winnie, hi. I, I'm sorry, Winnie. I am so mad right now. Oh. I am mad. Why are you mad, friend? What's going on? I am on? mad at my widow cousin, Irving. Oh, he's a killer, Irving. Why are you mad at him? Oh, no, he's not cute. Oh. He's, he's, I, don't, I don't like him anymore, and I'm not going to be his friend anymore, what? and I'm not going to invite him to my birthday party. Nothing. But he's your cousin. Yeah, but he made me mad. You know what he did? What he he took my favorite action figure and he broke it. Oh, goodness. And then he hid it. Oh. He didn't even say sorry and he lied to me. Maybe and, he was oh. embarrassed. I don't. What? Oh, maybe. Look, Edgar, we've been talking about our new verse, 1 John 5 3. Mm. Didn't you just hear Pastor Jeff? 
Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah he yeah. said that love is the greatest commandment God asks oh, of us. Oh. We're supposed to love everyone around us, even oh. those who make us mad. Even when they break your action figure? Even when they break your action figure. Or even like Avery, who could be some crabby sometimes and a little rude. Mm -hmm. We still gotta love her, too. Oh. Oh, you're right, Winnie. Really. And you know what? It, it's a command. It's a command God asked that of us. Yeah, and if we love God, we obey His command. Exactly. Okay. Oh, that's good, Winnie. Okay, I'm going to go tell Irving because I yelled at him. I'm going to go say sorry. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, go say sorry. Okay, bye. Bye, friend. Crazy. Thank you so much for being with us here on Agape Avenue. We're so happy when you come visit us. Now, before we let you go, there's something very important we'd like to share with you. Yes. We want to give you an opportunity to ask Jesus to come into your life. It's very, very important. And it's not that hard. Now, I'm going to say the prayer in English. Pastor Paula is going to say it in Spanish. If you want to pray in English, you will pray with me. If you want to pray in Spanish, you repeat me. Okay, are you ready? And it goes like this, and it's very simple. We bow our head and we close our eyes, and we say, Dear Jesus, Señor Jesús, Thank you for loving me so much. Gracias por amarme tanto. You died for me. Moriste por mí. And you came back to life for y me. Y resucitaste por mí. Come into my life. Ven a mi vida. Please forgive me for all my sins. Perdóname por todos mis pecados. And send me your Holy Spirit. Y mándame tu Espíritu Santo. So that I can live for you. Para yo poder vivir para ti. In Jesus' name. En el nombre de Cristo. Amen. Amen. Now, if you said that prayer, you just asked Jesus to come into your life. Yes. And we would love to hear what God is doing for you. So please, messages here on Agape Avenue. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. Hi, everyone. We are so glad that you are watching our episodes. We love you guys so much. And remember, if you're watching us, please make sure to take a picture or a video and tag us at ICM Kids or ICM Laredo. Also, don't forget to hashtag us at ICM Kids. We will be reposting your videos, pictures on Instagram and Facebook. So if you have any ideas you would like to see on Agape Avenue, make sure you comment them on our Instagram and Facebook page, and we'll be doing them for you. Bye! See you later! Hasta luego! Farewell! We, we love, love you! you.